her right name by Matthew Pryor as Nancy at her toilette sat, admiring this, and blaming that, tell me, she said, but tell me true, the nymph who could your heart subdue. What sort of charms does she possess? Absolve me, fair one, I'll confess with pleasure, I replied. Her hair, in ringlets rather dark than fair, does down her ivory bosom roll, and hiding half adorns the whole, in her high forehead's fair half-round love sits, in open triumph crowned. He, in the dimple of her chin, in private state, by friends is seen. Her eyes are neither black nor gray, nor fierce nor feeble as their ray. Their dubious luster seems to show something that speaks nor yes nor no. Her lips no living bard, I weet, may say how red, how round, how sweet, old. Homer only could indite their vagrant grace and soft delight. They stand recorded in his book, when Helen smiled, and he bespoke, the gypsy, turning to her glass, too plainly showed she knew the face. And which am I most like, she said, your Chloe or your nut-brown maid.